Brads, back to Wembley we go. What a crazy, crazy game, mate. How are you feeling after that? It was very leggy, that performance. Honestly, the way I described that first 75 minutes, it was like trying to take sleeping pills and trying to stay awake. <laughs> it wasn't it. We were just literally fighting against it. It was terrible. The midfield was poor. Fulham were dominating us. They deserved their goal. And you looked at it and thought, this just looks like it's not going to be our day. I don't know how we're going to find the gear. And all of a sudden, that, that red card, the first red card happens yeah. and wow. They lost the pot, but the thing <laughs> is, did. it reminded me of the West Ham game, but I thought we were actually going to get beat because Fulham were a better side than West yeah, Ham. Yeah, but yeah. Someone else said that to me, actually. Uh, it was a little bit like the West Ham game where you, you see 3-1 and you think, oh, United must have had an easy day at the office, but it was anything but. No, it was really, it was awful to watch, but um, thank, thank you, Willie Ann, and thank you, Mitrovic, for <laughs> giving us the win. <laughs> actually, that, that's bad side there. Thank you, Willie Ann, thank you, Mitrovic. I mean... That was bizarre. I mean, at 75 minutes, I was thinking, how are we going to open these up? Fair play, Anthony came on. I think he changed the game. But that one moment that we created, which was brilliant, you know, from Jane Sancho and uh, Bruno and Anthony, should have been a goal. Obviously, that's why it was a red card. But what happened after that was just insane. I've never seen it before. You know, the manager imploded. <laughs> like, honestly, he threw the water bottle on the, on the floor whilst that three came over. Like, if you're going to do it, do it whilst that three's not looking. And then... He, he riled up Mitrovic and then Mitrovic completely lost the plot. It, it was almost reminded me when, you know, when Bruno touched the linesman. Yeah. But yeah. Bruno did it. He, he did it as soft as yeah, yeah, yeah. possible, but he completely intimidated that referee. Yeah, because awesome. Bruno's one was a bit like, oh, get out of the way. I'm trying to get the ball. I'm in a bad mood. When but he, Mitrovic was in his face, you know, putting hands around him and you can't do that. No, like, like apparently might be six game ban. Really? Oh, for, yeah, for, assault, for assaulting a ref. <laughs> Violent conduct. I mean, it wasn't quite a De Canio, but... Mitrovic, absolute clown. And you know what? He dominated us for 75 minutes. He was bullying our defenders, getting his head on the everything. And to see at a complete head loss like that and hand us the game was unbelievable. But you know what? I, I think if players are doing that, they should get fined and they should have yeah. game bans because mm. um, it's, it's not right doing that to the referees because they're, they're, they're human beings at the end of the day and they're trying to con control a football match and yeah. you're, you're getting in their faces. It's not, really, it's not right. To it's be not on, yeah. And then you get to 1-1. One, one, and then Fulham are at nine men and then you're thinking, right, settle down. We need to go and get this second. Come straight away, Sabitza. Bang. Kill the game. <laughs> yeah. And he gets and he gets his first goal for the club as well. Yeah, that's massive for him. Confidence boost. Um, Wembley again. And then through to the next round of the Europa League as well. Wembley again. It's Brighton that await us in the semi-final. If we play like that against Brighton, probably lose 3-1. Probably get beat 5 no. I'm, I'm not joking. They're yeah, we've got to raise City. it. They're a power man, man City. In terms of how they play, they, they, they play brilliant football. Mm. Do you fancy us against them? Do you fancy, obviously, the game's in, I don't even actually know when it is, a good few weeks from now. When is it, 22nd and 23rd? Right, um, so we've got a, a while to prepare for that, obviously, and an international break, but... I'm glad about that. I'm glad about the international break, because we look very leggy. It's not like, that. that was, that's not like us today. No. We've been brilliant this season. No one can argue against that. We've been brilliant, but we look incredibly late. Do you feel that that, that has been creeping in? Like, yeah. you know, tiredness, you know, fatigue, and then no Casemiro, and then you just completely see? On I, I thought, because we played a different team against West Ham, so we played, so I thought, before the Liverpool game, I was confident, but like, backfired. But I thought, don't, don't read too much into that, because it's like, it's just a weakened yeah, team. Yeah. But actually, we look a bit leggy, because that Liverpool game was a, Disaster. Mm. We look very leggy in that game, and obviously today we look leggy. And then against Southampton, we look leggy. So it's creeping in a bit. So it's a good job we have having the international break. So mm. they can rest up. Varane's retired from international football, which is massive. Yeah, and he wasn't in the squad today as well. So I hope he's all right. But he gets two weeks off anyway now, which yeah. is good. And then Newcastle away. Big one. You know what? If you beat Newcastle away, we beat Tottenham away. I think we got top four wrapped. Yeah. So that's massive. Yeah. Because I think we can go to Tottenham. Yeah, well, look what's happening there as well. Um, and how pleased were you, the fact that uh, Anthony, you know, a lot of people are talking about how he came on and, and changed the game as well. Anthony's one of my favourite players, to be honest. Yeah, I know, you like him a lot, don't you? Yeah, because I, I, I think he excites the fans. He's an absolute pain yeah. for the other players because he rattles them. He absolutely rattles them up. And um, it creates space for others. Like, there's players like that, like Neymar, Anthony, Jack Grealish is another one, where... Because they rattle defenders, they actually draw players in, which opens the pitch up for mm. the players, which I think is good. And Bruno plays better in that kind of... Yeah, I mean, look, two goals for Bruno in the end. And actually... Typical performance. What? Exactly that. Tip, he didn't play very well, did he? He was he's giving tremendous. the ball away. I've always had a love-hate relationship with Bruno, though. Because <laughs> on... Like, I, I've been saying it, even to today, as I keep saying it, you can get away with it today. Because 
they're Fulham, they're a good side, but they're not the same level as City or Liverpool or Arsenal, mm. where you kick the ball away a lot. And if you do that against City or Liverpool, you get banned. Even Brighton. Against Brighton, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they're comfortable on the ball, that comfortable on the ball, they're not, they're not, they're not going to mm. ease possession away to you, are they? But then the pressure moment, you know, you want a man to, to step up, take the penalty, make sure you score. Um, and he gets the third when the game's out of sight. Yeah. But, you know, he came through clutch in the end. But that sums, like you said, typical Bruno performance. I've got a message for Arsenal fans. What, what are they talking about, blessing in disguise going out the Europa League? Don't you think he is? No, not a chance. I think it's the complete opposite. I think that's worse. Another one today, 4-1 against Crystal Palace. Yeah. But if you think about it, they, they've all they've all hyped up this season saying it's going to be an amazing season. But if you don't win the Premier League, it's a failure because you're not going to win anything. So that actually puts more pressure on you to win the Prem. Well, they're in with a shout, and like I said, they won four one today. So we'll see, we we'll see how it goes for them. The press, the pressure's on. They got, they got to win it. Could backfire because let's say because you got Liverpool away coming up soon. Yeah. And then you got to go City, and as much as Arsenal are on fire, we were on fire, and what happened to us again? Mm. Anfield, the Anfield can swallow you up. And yeah. We've seen that. So. Well, that Arsenal side looked like they made out of some minerals. So that's going to be interesting. Before I let you go, who was your man of the match? I know, I know, Paulinho got the Emirates man of the match because he, he was good. He was good. Though. And he, and he is good. He's a really good midfielder. Um, but who was the, the man of the match for you from a Man United perspective? You know, it might shock you, but Wan Bissaka. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was solid. Mm -hmm. Attacking and defending. Okay. Yeah. He's gone with Wan Bissaka. Wicked. On the way to Wembley. Yeah.